Welcome back. Up until now we have done all of factorising, the four different types of questions that you can really get, and even the harder ones if you, had a, if you were brave enough to have a go at the harder factorising video I made. Today I'd like to go through algebraic fractions. I'm going to split this up into two sections, multiplication and division, and then my next video will be on addition and subtraction, which I think is a little bit more difficult. So today's video will have six questions just on multiplying, dividing and simplifying algebraic expressions. So here are three questions we're going to start with first. Whenever you have a question presented where you have to simplify an algebraic fraction, you should always factorise first. We should know how to factorise by now. Let's have a look at number one. Two terms, I should always take out a common factor first. There's a common factor of six. 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 times 1y is minus 6y. All over, the 2x minus y can't factorise, so I just leave it on the bottom. They cancel, because they're exactly the same. And when you have the same thing on the top and the bottom, if it's multiplication, then you can cancel. And we're left with just 6. Moving right along. Two terms. No common factors. Don't forget about our flow chart. No common factors. Two terms. That means it's the difference of two squares. Hopefully you can all write it out quite quickly now. Minus three plus three. If you're doing all your questions that your teacher's giving you from school, or if you're doing the exercise from the textbook, you should, have, you should already have picked up how to do these relatively quickly. I have two terms on the bottom. There is a common factor of x. Open the brackets, x plus 3. I now have an x plus 3 on the bottom and an x plus 3 on the top. They can cancel. And then you just write down what's left. These are quite simple as long as you know how to factorise. Most people have a problem with these questions because they actually don't know how to factorise. Question number 3. On the top, there are no common factors. On the bottom, there are no common factors. These are both three terms with a number 1 in front of the x squared, which makes them a monic trinomial. So we do both of these as a monic trinomial. Multiplies to give 6, adds to give minus 5. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. And minus 3 minus 2, don't forget to check, minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. If you actually chose 6 and 1 there, and you were doing it a little bit ahead of me, then you should have got it wrong, because if you had factorised this as x, 6 and 1, minus 6 plus 1, when you checked it at the end, which I always encourage you to do, minus 6 times 1 will not give you the plus 6 at the end. So that checking at the end is very important. So mine works, so I know I've picked the correct two factors. Down the bottom, multiplying to give 12, adding to give 1, 4 and 3. 4, 3, plus 4, minus 3. No great surprises that there is something to cancel. Actually, I will probably be a little bit concerned and check my working if there was nothing to cancel. And of course, don't forget to write down what's left. If you want to put the brackets in, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So the two questions that I have now behind me are a multiplication of two algebraic fractions and this one over here is the division of two algebraic fractions. They look a lot more difficult than what they are. Just remember that if you are trying to simplify an algebraic fraction, all you need to do is to factorise each section first and then you need to cancel where you can. So let's have a look at the first one. The top section is a trinomial so I can factorise it nicely. I deliberately gave us a monic trinomial so that it's not difficult. Multiplies to give 3, adds to give 2, 3 and 1, minus 3 plus 1. Then we do the denominator, the bottom, 5 times 1 is 5, minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. 
Just leave that for the moment. I know that we can cancel, but we really just want to stick with doing one thing at a time. And at the moment, we're not cancelling, we're factorising. I recognise the top as being the difference of two squares. Minus five, plus five. And on the denominator, I have a trinomial again. And of course, it's monic. Five times three is 15, plus five, minus three. So now that we've factorised everything, we can now look at our question and we can cancel. Because it's a multiplication, I'm allowed to cancel anything from the top with anything on the bottom as long as it's being multiplied. So because I have multiplication signs in between each term, I can cancel anything on the top with anything on the bottom. It doesn't matter which fraction it's in as long as one is on the top and one is on the bottom. That means that I can cancel those ones, which was very tempting to do before. I have an x minus 3 and an x minus 3, one on the top on the left and one on the bottom on the right. Remember, we're allowed to do that as long as everything's multiplied. And I even have an x minus 5 and an x minus 5. So I can cancel the x plus 5 as well. Interestingly enough, I'm left with nothing on the left and nothing on the right. So that makes that fraction 1, and this fraction 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. So when everything cancels, remember, you're not left with 0, you're left with 1. This one is a division, and remember that when you're dividing fractions, it doesn't matter if they're normal fractions, like we did in primary, 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 6. How would you do that? You would change the divide to a times, and flip the fraction upside down and then we would times the top and times the bottom so we're going to stick with that we already know that we're not going to do anything different so when you divide you know that you need to change it to a times and flip the second fraction upside down how about I do that first and then I start the question factorize it cancel and see what I'm left with so all I'm doing now Remember, we want to do one thing at a time. And all I want to do now is change the divide to a times and flip the second fraction upside down. What I have done now is I have made this question, which was a division, a multiplication, which is exactly what we did over here in question number one, which we already know how to do. I now need to factorise the top. That's just two terms. Take out a common factor. Actually, if I look at this one, there's nothing to do here. The top here is a trinomial. It's an easy trinomial. It's got a 1 in the front. That makes it monic. Don't forget, because there's a y squared, I showed you one of these in my earlier videos, that if there's a y squared at the end, I put a y at the end. And then I just use the ones. Adds to give negative two and multiplies to give one. So one y, one y, minus, minus, and the bottom is the difference of two squares. And now I'm looking to cancel where I can. So I have an x plus y there and an x plus y here. I have an x minus y on the bottom left. I have an x minus y on the top right and I have an x minus y and an x minus y over there. I think I've cancelled everything that I can and now I need to write down what's left. I have a 2 on the top and I have x squared plus xy plus y squared. And don't be afraid that there's three terms on the bottom. With question number five we again have a multiplication of two algebraic fractions. What makes this question different is on the top left here and the bottom left, I have what appears to be a non-monic trinomial. And we know to factorise a non-monic trinomial, we need to do a fraction that cancels. And that's going to get quite complicated. So what I would like to do first, because only because it's a non-monic trinomial, is I'm going to do that working over here and then bring it back to the equation so that it's easier for me. If I split it up, it just makes things less messy when I'm doing my working. This is my setting out. 
I don't forget to go 2 times 2 is minus 4. I now need to multiply to give minus 4 and add to give minus 3, minus 4 plus 1. Hopefully we all understand that one of them will factorise or both fact or both brackets will factorise. We can always cancel and we're left with x minus 2, 2x plus 1, which we're going to bring back and put on the top left because that's what the factorising gives us. And you don't need to delete that. You keep that over there as you're working. And when the teachers are marking, you'll get marks for working if it's tidy and they can read it. Now we need to do the denominator. Hopefully you realise that you can take out a common factor of 2 first, which means that we're going to need to do an extra line of working. Over here, the top is already factorised. Lucky me. And the bottom, two terms, no common factors, which makes it the difference of two squares. Try to resist cancelling until we're finished factorising. So we have that on the top. We have a monic trinomial down here. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 3 plus 2, minus 3 times minus plus 2 is minus 6. All good. Minus 3, x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 2 on the denominator. And now I can cancel. So I see that first. I can cancel the x minus 3s. I can cancel the x minus 2s. And I can't see anything else to cancel. So all I need to do is to write down what's left. Keep everything on the top on the top and keep everything on the bottom on the bottom. And you'll finish and get it right. Don't worry about the working on the right. You just leave that there. That's part of your working. And just to end on a little bit of a brighter, maybe easier note, let's have a look at number six. Again, division of two algebraic fractions. I'm going to change the divide to a times first. That should be pretty easy. I'm not going to factorise at the same time because I like to do one thing in every line of working. I just find that you are less likely to make a mistake if you do one thing at a time. I can now factorise if I can. Here I can take out a 4x. On the bottom I can take out an x. Over here there's only one term on the top and one term on the bottom. So there's not much to do over here. And now I can cancel. I have an x on the top and an x on the bottom. 3x minus 1 on the top, 3x minus 1 on the bottom. Here I have two y's and one y, so one of those will cancel. x squared, x squared. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 10 goes twice. And if you're good and you spot that the 2 goes into the 4, that's great. And what am I left with? It's a little bit messy now to see what's left. I have the 2 on the top, and actually I have nothing else left on the bottom, so the answer becomes 2. If you get to this line down here, and you don't want to do everything like I did because it got too messy, you can do it a little bit slower and take an extra line of working. Cancel the x's. Most people would cancel the 2's cancel the x's, cancel the y's, and you might have written 4 over 2, which equals 2. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as you don't leave it out. So just be aware that as long as you're following the rules, you're factorising and then you're cancelling, even if you don't cancel everything and you forget one or you don't spot one, you should still get the same thing at the end. Thanks for watching on Algebraic Fractions, Multiplication and Division. Hope you understand. If there was one of the factorizings that confused you. Don't forget you can go back to one of the earlier videos and learn how to do it if you haven't already done so. My next video will be on addition and subtraction. Good luck. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get all the latest notifications when a new video comes out.